promise we're joined by our political insiders right now, Democratic strategist Tony Lepore, Republican strategist Charlie Giroux. Listen, guys, I know you have a lot to say, but in one word, how did it go tonight? What's your initial reaction, Tony? It was long. <laughs> okay. Charlie? For Joe Biden, it was pathetic. Okay. Absolutely pathetic. Long and pathetic. There you go. Let's start with this. We're going to start with immigration off the top, and we do have a sound bite. Let's play that. When he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages, making sure they were, the families were separated. That's not the right way to go. We had the safest border in history. Now we have the worst border in history. There's never been anything like it, and people are dying all over the place. All right, so gentlemen, here you have polar opposite answers. So Charlie, which is correct? Well, I mean, look, Donald Trump wins the points on immigration, but this is not an Oxford-style debate. We talked about that the other day. What the American people saw tonight was Joe Biden at his worst. What they're going to be talking about tomorrow was the absolutely dismal performance. I honestly have been watching debates for a long time. I've never seen anything worse. We're going to talk about the performance. <laughs> Tony, which is correct? <laughs> well, I was going to answer your question, but I think what we saw was style over substance. Style being Donald Trump, substance being Joe Biden. And people forget that Donald Trump kept kids in cages, locked in cages from their families. So did Barack I mean, we Obama. Can't, we can't forget that. Let's talk Ukraine. <laughs> Let's talk Ukraine. Let's play that. This is a war that never should have started. If we had a leader in this war, he led everybody along. He's given $200 billion now or more to Ukraine. He's given $200 billion. That's a lot of money. Putin is a war criminal. He's killed thousands and thousands of people. And he has made one thing clear. He wants to reestablish what was part of the Soviet empire. You know, former President Trump goes on to say, I think Zelensky is the greatest salesman of any politician that's ever lived. Tony, are we wasting time or money in Ukraine? Um, no, I don't believe we are, because Putin is a war criminal. And if we don't stop him now, if we don't plant our flag in the ground, Poland is next. Charlie? Well, I think President Trump makes the point correctly and accurately that we've got to get our allies to pay their fair share, too. Every time they come to the people of the United States, our folks are having a hard time making ends meet without shipping tons and tons of money continually overseas. You know, this next soundbite really is kind of all over the Internet by this point. Uh, former President Trump mocking President Joe Biden. Take a listen to this. Now you're in a situation where there are 40 percent fewer people coming across the border illegally. That's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we can do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. All right, so you heard that. Uh, now I want to talk a little bit about performance. I mean, we're hearing some people say, you know, President Biden sounded a little sick, uh, you know, not well. Uh, his face is clearly, you know, because they couldn't talk over each other. So it, it said everything in the reaction <laughs> in the face. How was their performance? Jasmine, out in the real world, it's not a few people. Everybody is saying that this was a disaster. Well, not everybody. A total <laughs> meltdown. Well, maybe Mrs. Biden isn't, but <laughs> even my Democrat friends were calling me during the course of the debate saying, what the heck? I mean, this was cringeworthy. And it was a moment where Joe Biden had to perform well. His own Democrat advisors, David Axelrod and others, were saying there was a very high bar. There really was a very low bar, and he managed to trip over it. Tony, you're a Democratic friend. Yes. Did you call Charlie? No, no, no I'm, but he would I'm happy to see him here, but I can tell you this. It wasn't a great performance. I, I think everybody that saw that knows that he started out slow, very slow. He's a guy with a speech impediment. And he, once he warmed up and got his points out there, people realized that Joe Biden was talking policy, where Donald Trump seemed to be running for liar-in-chief instead of the president of the United States. Well, I have to imagine, you know, the point of the debate is to talk policy, and then we hear something like this. I went to the World War II cemetery 
World War I cemetery he refused to go to. He was standing with his four-star general, and he told me, he said, I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. First of all, that was a made-up quote, suckers and losers. They made it up. It was in a third-rate magazine that's failing, like many of these magazines. You're watching this debate, and I'm ser I feel like I'm in, like, just over and over here, suckers and losers, suckers and losers. Su and I'm thinking, okay, and then you hear, you know, you're sleeping with a porn star. In 2024, did you think, is this what you expected? Did you expect them to go here? I didn't expect them to go that low on occasion. But again, just watching this debate, the American people saw what they feared the most. And you're going to hear an awful lot of discussion over the course of the next few days from Democrats about how in the heck do we get Joe Biden off that ticket. Okay. Well, I think, Tony? I think maybe the fear, and, and, and maybe it is a fear, but I think what they fear is four more years of Trump. He can't run from his history. He served four years. He can't lie his way out of four years. I just want to get to We had a great economy, no wars, you know. Really, <laughs> really, really quick. Here's the deal, though. When you're watching these debates, if you don't know your facts, right, I mean, you might believe some of the stuff that either one is saying that's not true. I mean, President Trump really did say that you could uh, rip the baby, baby out of the womb at nine months. Like, that's a scary thing to hear if you well, don't know your let's, facts. Well, let's talk about Joe Biden and the Democrats well, on, on partial birth abortion. They say they're against it, but when they've had the opportunity to vote for partial birth abortion bans, they don't. So, I mean, the rubber has to meet the road somewhere, and that's where it does. Well, another lie. He said that they have the baby, give it to the doctor, the doctor allows it to die. That doesn't happen. That's never happened. That was the governor that of Virginia's is plan. crazy. It, it is. is an absolute lie, and Trump should be embarrassed that he actually said that. Well, listen, I really appreciate you guys coming. We're out of time. I think we're over four minutes here. I could talk to you for, you know, 40 more minutes. So thank you guys for being with it's us tonight. Uh, Tony Lepore and, of course, Charlie Jarrell.